We're here at the student farm in our certified naturally grown area. And I'm here with Shelby Mendoza to help tell us how do we control weeds in a certified naturally grown area with no pesticides. It's a good question. So we have been doing manual removal of weeds. So first we're manual, going- Manual, that means like you first physically First we're going got in, okay, yeah, with okay. a hoe of some sort um, and disrupting those roots, pulling up as many weeds as we can. And then we're coming in with mulch in some situations, but where we've had Bermuda grass or Johnson grass, we're actually coming in with cardboard and then mulch to help suppress those uh, peskier problems. Okay, so in springtime, you're gonna have a lot of winter annuals and you're saying you can just pull those right out and then go with cardboard and mulch. But for those summer, especially those perennial grasses mm -hmm. like Bermuda grass, yeah, can, can this really be effective to control that? So uh, because we are a certified naturally grown system out here, that's an alternative certification to the USDA's organic program. There are pesticides we can use, but they're two to three times more expensive than what you can go buy at Lowe's. Okay. Um, and a lot of them are just taking care of the top that we see. They're, dying, they're killing back um, the weeds, but they're not getting to those rhizomes that we see in Johnson grass and Bermuda grass. So really what we're doing here is trying to suppress the weeds. Okay, um, we suppress, want not suppress. necessary, okay. Yes, yeah, so we want to make it harder for them to grow. So we're taking away their light source um, with that cardboard and then an extra layer of mulch. But that's something we're gonna have to keep doing until we deplete those reserves in the rhizome because the plants still have energy underground even if we take away their light source. So it's gonna take time to right. really get control of them. So I can see in the field here, you have cover crops. Yes. And those have helped to control the weeds before you even got started with your garden out here, right? right. But now we, we've got these alleyways, we got to, and we also need places to walk and to work. So we can use this cardboard and mulch, right? To mm -hmm. hopefully control or suppress these weeds yes. and also give you a little place to work, right? Right. But one important thing, we're not just taking our Amazon boxes straight from our doorstep and putting it out. We're removing plastic labels um, and tape, and then we're laying it down. We don't wanna oh, yeah. add any extra trash because cardboard will break down eventually. Um, so will the mulch, but we don't wanna add trash to our field. We don't wanna grow plastic out here, right, Shelby? Correct. <laughs> okay, we wanna grow vegetables. Yes. Okay, so let's see how we do this. Let's go pull some weeds and lay down some mulch. Sure, sounds great. All right, great job, Mia and Kenzie. So Shelby, we're getting the weeds out of here. And now I guess we lay down some cardboard and some mulch, right? Exactly. So what do we do next? Yeah. So we're gonna come in and just, since they disturb the roots on these plants, we're just gonna go ahead and cover them up, lay down our cardboard. If there are holes in the cardboard, we would go ahead and lay double layers, but this is a really thick piece, so we're good to go. And then we're gonna dump mulch. Yeah, so you can be picky about your cardboard, right? The yes. thicker the cardboard, the, <laughs> the, better. the better it will be. And ultimately, we're just trying to smother. stop the sunlight, smother. Okay, yep. so let's smother them. All right. So this is just a demonstration, but if we were doing this for real, we would want to have a second layer of cardboard here so there's no cracks for sunlight to get to our weeds. Um, and then we would want to have three to four inches of mulch really is what we're looking for. So nice cardboard layer, three to four inches of mulch. Make sure those weeds are removed before. What happens if we don't remove the weeds before? Depends on the weed. <laughs> um, some of our, our perennial weeds, they're just gonna keep growing, um, sadly. But some of our uh, more temperature dependent finicky weeds, our winter annual weeds, they should be okay. It should smother them. Yeah, and we, and we had some volunteers help us with some of our mulch where some of the weeds didn't get pulled. Right. And you can see it coming through, yes. peeking through, right? Yes. So we'll have to go pull those out. Exactly. All right, well, Shelby, well, this is great. Seems like it's easy to do. We can control weeds and we don't have to use pesticides. Thank you. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.